channel if you're new please hit that subscribe button if you're not thanks for watching again i look like i went fully blonde but i promise i didn't my hair just looks like this because i have this on but today we are going to be getting ready i'm going to a car show if y'all don't know y'all know but yeah um i'm gonna be answering your guys' assumptions about me uh i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys follow my instagram if not go follow it it will be in the link down below um but yeah, I'm kind of running late, so let's just hurry up and get into this video. So, your guys' first assumption uh, was you planned your pregnancy. And no, I did not plan my pregnancy. I was about to talk in a British accent right now. I don't know if you guys said that. But no, I did not plan my pregnancy. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't do that, you know, because how young I am. And um, back then, I wouldn't think I was capable of taking care of a baby. But now, like, I, girl, I got it. But, you know, back then, I wouldn't have thought, like, I could take care of a kid but um i'm doing fine so far and no i did not plan my pregnancy um i know a lot of people said that but i didn't plan my pregnancy um especially of how toxic my relationship was i wouldn't do that uh next assumption is you don't like your job that's very much true no one really likes a job but you know it's a job a job's a job you know you're making money off of it even if you don't like it you know a job's a job Personally, I don't like my job. I don't really think anyone likes their job, but I mean, unless you do. But I don't like my job. I work at Jack in the Box, if you don't know. Um, it's just a fast food restaurant. If you don't know what Jack in the Box is, I know some people are not from the um, United States that watch me, but it's just like a fast food place. And it sucks. But I quit that job uh, not that long ago, so I don't really work right now. Uh, next assumption. It's not really an assumption, but it's more of a question. It's why are you now just getting paid from YouTube? Um, I have been getting paid from YouTube. I'm not going to really say how much, but just know I've been getting paid since probably January. And it's now uh, October. So there was one month where I didn't get my payment because um, I don't know why. But there was just one month where I didn't get my payment. and But I ended up getting into the next paycheck, if that makes sense. I The money that was in there just got added onto the next paycheck. So, yeah. But I've been getting paid since January. Um, the process did take a really long time because I know a lot of people ask that too. The process took a really, really long time. It's, really, it's, it's not easy. It's not. Um, next assumption, that you love your daughter more than anything in the world. And that is absolutely true. I love my baby girl, you know. Um, there's days where she's super, super, super fussy and I get frustrated. But at the end of the day, you know, like I'll always love her. And I can't really do nothing about it, you know, baby's a baby. I'm trying to do my eyebrow. You know, a baby's a baby, they're going to get fussy. That's how babies are. They can't talk, they can't tell you what they want, so, you know. But um, lately she has been teething, and if you guys watched my breakup video, I asked you guys about the teething and, like, why my baby still has no teeth, and she's already about to be a year old. Um, three more months, she'll be a year old, but yeah. Um... A lot of people a lot of people say like it's normal but honestly i don't know to me i don't think it's normal like she has no teeth and she has been teething since she was two months old i don't know i just find that kind of weird but yeah um next assumption next assumption you have a small friend group um that is kind of true kind of not um honestly i don't have friends <laughs> you know to people i do talk to out there you know i i fuck with y'all but um i don't really call anybody my friend i do have some friends kind of don't kind of do um you know it's kind of just weird at this point because i don't know if i have friends but the people that you do like i do post and the people i do be around are my cousins actually and they are super 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 chill um uh, i know you guys are probably like why are you hanging out with your cousins that's that's weird i know my eyebrows are hella thick right now but i'm i'm gonna uh, conceal them um but they honestly it is a really small a small little thing uh, it's just the three of us most sometimes it's four it's my other cousin but um she works and she's way older than us she's like 21 already so it's kind of like you know she's too old for us but you know we always end up doing something together when we're bored and whatever um yeah 
but I do really have I do have a small friend group um next assumption you don't want any more kids um that is absolutely false I do want more kids just not right now um I don't plan on having any more kids soon probably when um I'd say give it give it 21 I want to turn 21 before I have another kid honestly but um yeah next assumption you want to move out ASAP that is absolutely true I do want to move out as soon as I can uh, not because anything's wrong but I just like I just want to like know the feeling of having to live on your own like I want to experience that already and I'm just super tired of like living under someone else's rules like I know I'm so okay and I gotta follow the rules but it's like you know sometimes I feel like how my mind is how my mind works I feel like I'm more mature and I don't know now that I have a kid I feel like I want to be able to just do the things that I have to do not I know like that doesn't mean anything like okay I had a kid like that don't mean nothing but I just feel like I'm more responsible now and I feel like I I'm I'm more responsible now like I feel like I should be able to like do things um like drive myself or you know just you know like I want to be able to drive myself that's kind of the main reason I want to drive myself um I want to like drive on my own without having to ask permission or like go to the store without having to ask permission or just things like that I want to be able to do stuff on my own and um obviously soon I will get to like know the experience of doing things on my own because I'm still young I'm still 16 I'm not even 18 I can't like I'm in the I'm pretty sure you have to be 18 to live on your own in an apartment um in California I'm not even at that age yet so it's like I have two more years I but I do want to move out and I'm not like I'm saying like it's not because I don't want to live with my mom anymore but it's just the fact that I want to learn how to do things by myself next assumption is I assumed you'd be a real ass friend honestly honestly I am are you that ass assumption is I assume you'd be a real ass friend that is absolutely true like I'm probably as real as it gets um, a lot of people like I know a lot of people who I were friends with and they just did me hella weird and I already knew it wasn't my fault because I'm not even into half of the stuff that like happened but you know um you know but I'm honestly like a real life friend like you can literally come to me for anything and I'll I'll be there um next assumption Oh, this was not really an assumption. This is more of like a suggest, suggest, new video suggestion. And it's getting ready for the day. Um, I have a lot of videos like that, but I'll try to do more. Um, I'll try to do more. Next assumption, I thought you were really shy. Honestly, I am a really shy person. Like, I could be bold and I could just be bold sometimes, but sometimes, most of the time, I'm really not bold. Um, it's just really like it, it kind of depends on what kind of mood i'm in or what kind of like place i'm in if you know what i mean if that makes sense okay so next assumption is how does it feel to be a single mother um honestly it's way less i mean i know a lot of people out there probably like girl why why are you happy you're single um if you guys know you know um there's a lot of toxic ass stuff has been happening in my relationship with my baby's father and honestly i just feel really glad to like not have to deal with that anymore and you know like i'm able to do half of the stuff like i couldn't do i don't know if i said that like probably a million times but i'm just like able to do half of the stuff that i was never able to do and it just makes me really really like not happy but it just makes me really more at peace with myself like i don't have to worry about texting somebody back or like um we're, like letting them know where i'm at or you know but um but yeah uh so overall i'm kind of like doing me right now and it's not really a personal feeling i mean it's not really personal like it's not really personal just like to whoever out there like who knows who he is or uh you know just don't take it personal uh, next question is, um, oh, next assumption, you really just don't give up, but you, in a, in a good way, um, okay, let me read that again, uh, you don't give up, but in a, you, it, but it's in a good way, um, honestly, I do, 
I do, but, um, like you said, like, how you're saying it's in a good way. I get what you're trying to say, but, uh, I, like, if we're talking about people's opinions, I don't care. Like, I really don't. You can really tell me anything, and I'll just be like, oh, okay. Like, you know, like, I'm not the type of person to be, like, hella judgmental about it. Um, honestly, that's kind of true. I don't really care. Next assumption is, oh, it's not really an assumption. It's kind of someone telling me something that you're a really great mom. Um, thank you. I don't know if you're telling me or if it's an assumption. But, um, if it's an assumption, um, honestly, I feel like I am a pretty awesome mom. Like, I've been doing so much things. And then, I, not to mention, like, I do it by myself. I do it, you know, like I say, like, to the neck. I do it by myself. And next assumption, that you, do you plan on getting back with your baby daddy? How do you feel about everything? Um, honestly, no, I don't plan on getting back with him. Um, we talk here and there, but, you know not like relationship wise we talk more about the baby and uh how, like you know just about real we don't really talk relationship wise because he already knows like how i feel about everything and he knows like you know not i'm not trying this time he knows he knows that so it's kind of like there's really nothing we could do about it at this point you know like it's we're better off without each other and you know he's talking to who he wants to talk to and you know like he's doing good like honestly and me personally i feel like pretty much whatever about it you know like i was really like hurt at first but it took me like it didn't take me a little, as long as i thought it will to get over him but if i'm being honest i'm over it i'm over him and like and there's not really not nothing there anymore there's nothing there next assumption is you're doing a lot mentally you're doing a lot better mentally without your baby daddy and that is absolutely true like honestly even a lot of people noticed it that they like i got a lot of like compliments on my one of my videos it just like they were like oh you're glowing like you look so much happier you look so much better and um like i told you guys i was just not we were just not in a really good place half of the time we were together even after we had our yellow we just were really not in a good place and um nothing nothing to bash him or anything because you know you know that's her dad can't really do nothing about it but um but yeah i'm honestly doing way better um like i said i'm doing so much things that i wanted to do but i couldn't because i was in a relationship and i'm not talking about like those type of things you know i'm talking about like going out or um hanging out with certain people like i could do that now and i don't have to like be worried like oh my god like i'm gonna like as high how i would see is i'm gonna get in trouble by him like that's how i would see it personally uh next assumption you got into a lot of fights uh mm, i honestly haven't gotten into a lot of fights i've got into like probably two fights in my whole life three three fights in my whole life and they were all just over some stupid shit. A lot of the times, I, like, don't even know why we fought, but we fought. Um, ain't no round here. But, you know, you know the vibes. Um, but, yeah, I, I wasn't really a troublemaker like that when before I got pregnant. I was into a lot of stuff. Like, I could get into a lot of things, like, trouble. But not, like, with the law or anything. It was more of, like... I was like a ghetto child. Next assumption. You drink alcohol. Um, I don't breastfeed anymore, so I do actually drink alcohol, but you won't catch me drinking it a lot, and I won't drink it around my kid. Um, if anything, I drink it when I'm, like, you know, not alone, but when I'm with my cousins or I'm with my friends that's the only time i drink but i'm not like an alcoholic or i nor i don't drink alcohol around my kid um and yes my parents know i do that Next question are you talking to anybody else um i am currently not talking to anybody um i don't really feel like i'm not really trying to commit to anything at the moment um a lot of people are just so weird and a lot of people are childish especially the people like around my city because I don't want nobody that lives, like, in Texas or, like, a whole different city. Like, I want someone that lives near me or at least, like, five minutes away from me. Um, but, yeah, a lot of people are really childish nowadays. And I'm not really looking for 
anything um serious right now but i'm not talking to anybody um if i do end up talking to anybody i would probably let you guys know uh it was i think the question was how you, oh, how have you guys been honestly we've been doing really good um i personally i thought i was gonna be really really hurt um not to sound like a like i'm sad or anything but like personally i thought i was gonna be really hurt after everything like i've been through but um you know there's days where i think about it and i'm just like damn like why did i do that why did i put up with that why why like why me but you know stuff happens and you know but overall we've been doing really well ariella's like she's doesn't know what's going on she's not really like she just doesn't know what's going on um trying to contour my nose i never contoured my nose before next assumption what are you doing for ariella's birthday um that's not really an assumption but it's a question um i'm gonna be doing her uh, first birthday party uh i was telling like literally everybody i'm not gonna do her first birthday party if she doesn't know how to walk and she's learning how to walk already so she kind of put me wrong right there she's like yeah you're throwing me a birthday party because i'm learning how to walk today um honestly she's learning how to walk really fast and it's crazy because it's like girl you're only eight months but she's learning how to walk she hasn't taken her first steps yet but she is learning she is getting there honestly she does really really well she pushes herself on the um little thingy and she's she be gone like she that girl's fast um she already knows how to cross she knows she's learning how to walk which is kind of like damn because like she's like a little baby like why are you walking but um yeah i'm most likely gonna do her first birthday party we might do her first birthday party and her baptism together because i am not gonna spend over a band on a birthday party like what's she doing right there i look kind of naked but i'm not um next assumption you give people too many chance chances that they never deserve honestly i could agree with that because i didn't even know i did that until you just said that um i could agree with that i do give a lot of people chances at the chance at the chance and like they don't even deserve half of the chances i give them but um yeah. next assumption that you are so cute and you are strong and beautiful same goes for ariella thank you and um honestly i could agree with that after after half of the stuff like i went through like not even like with her dad but just like in general like half of the stuff that i went through because everybody has a story but i'm not really the type to be like oh this happened to me this happened to me i'm not gonna like spread my business out to everybody because like you know some people don't care and i'm okay with that because sometimes i'm the people that don't care um next assumption well it's not an assumption but it's more of a question it says vlog my party um i'm not sure if i'm going to that I might, I might not. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna go though because I've been going out a lot and I can't really stay home. But, um, last assumption are you and your baby daddy not together? That is absolutely true. We are not together. We haven't been together for a minute now. Um, I'd say like two months, three months, somewhere around there. But we just haven't been together in a really long time. Um, that was the last of the assumptions. So I'm just gonna continue to do my makeup. I'm gonna put it on time though because I need to focus on doing this because. I'm already late. Literally, like, a week later. Like, it's already Friday, and I took that last Friday. Yeah, it's already Friday. It's, like, a, been a week, and I'm barely um editing it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really didn't record anything after that because I kind of forgot. I got busy, and then I didn't go anywhere. I think I just went to my cousin's house, and that was it. But, yeah, um, that was basically answering all your guys' assumptions. You know, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below or just, you know, DM them to me. I try my best to reply to everybody, but sometimes I can't get to everybody. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys want to see next. And thank you for watching.